All right, this is the second you try it in section 10.2. And this is a short one. It's just demonstrating a couple things about for sort of consequence and tautological consequence. So let's see what it wants us to do. Open the file goggles example. So I've done that right here. You can see it, which contains the inference described above uh, right here. So I'm on page 274. All right, use the first order consequence goggles to verify that the effect is as we have described. All right, there it is. The, okay, so let's click on the goggles there. Actually, here, let's go down here and click on the goggles. And actually, let's click off the goggles and highlight two, one. And this is what it looks like. Actually, it is reversed from the example in the textbook, but still consistent. So it's purple, green, then green, then purple. All right, so all something is something. B is not this, so B is not that either. All right, green check there. Okay, so on this one, the particular, step two, the particular goggles used by Fitch depend on the inference rule. To use tautological consequence goggles on this inference, First, take the Ephocon goggles off, right? There it is. Can't wear both kinds at the same time. And then change the rule to tautological consequence. Then switch on the tautological consequence goggles. All right, so let's go over here. We're gonna switch this up to tautological consequence down here. And let's click on the goggles and see what happens. Notice that it's different. And step three just points out, notice that you see something different. The display should look like this, kind of. It's a little different, but you get the point. Colors are a little different. Because the TOTCON inference rule does not take into account the meanings of quantifiers. Remember that quantifier there? Let's just make sure that we have, see that right there? That's the difference. The entire quantified formula and the initial step is treated as a single atomic formula. Since the inference contains three completely unrelated formulas, that, that, and that, as far as TOTCON is concerned, this inference will not check out. This is like going A, then not B, therefore not C. And that's obviously not a tautological consequence. So let's check it out. And as I said, it will not do. So then step four, take off the TOTCON goggles and check the inference. As predicted, it will not check out since the conclusion is not a tautological consequence of the premises. So I just did a little backwards. Let's take that off. All right, it does not check out. So that demonstrates a difference then between first order consequence and tautological consequence. 